For some Ukrainians in Metro Detroit, watching Russia attack Europe's largest nuclear power plant sparked concern families may face a similar emergency which led to the Chernobyl accident in the mid-1980s. We spoke to University of Michigan Chair of Nuclear Engineering to put this Russian power play into context. You see the Russian troops essentially trying to surround cities, cut off uh, access to food and things. So my best guess is, is that they're trying to control the power supplies. Professor Todd Allen says Ukraine has one of the largest fractions of power coming from nuclear energy in Europe. If the power goes out, the nuclear reactors will still radiate heat and lead to potential devastating accidents. So there's no immediate danger um, from the actions that happened last night. Certainly if long term the Russians cut access to electricity, that will hurt people's ability to stay heated, stay cool. As Russia continues to weaken parts of Ukraine, the efforts to help are getting stronger, especially in Metro Detroit. In Hamtramck, a group of Ukrainians collected and will donate goods and items to families in danger. Right now, like we're trying to collect medical supply and uh, other stuff to help people who's been uh, wounded in our country and also to people who uh, lost everything. You said your, your dad's over there, your grandmother's over there. How are they doing and how are you doing? They were like probably like 180 kilometers from the front line. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a medium risk area. We're still uh, in touch with them, um, but you know, like it could be, it could be changed at any second. The group of local Ukrainians will continue to collect supplies over the weekend. The plan is to share them with organizations overseas, who will then give them to Ukrainians in need. In Hamtramck, I'm Brandon Hudson, Fox Two News.